so backpedal i'm gonna stay kind of far 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 away then poke welcome to another mastering defense video in this video we're going to be concerning gap control there's two different forms of gap control uh one that's in the neutral zone and one that's in the defensive zone when you're in the neutral zone you anchor yourself to the blue line uh obviously inside leverage and then defensive zone you anchor yourself to the slot two on one play here hold poke check basically hold the cross crease option until you feel the puck here is going to commit to the shot or you have a chance to just kind of surprise them with the poke checks here i'm going to get into his way he's going to cut there cut back i'm going to cover far side lane i'm covering slot here and i'm just going to say it was inside i'm going to chop this out it might be an icing probably probably is covering middle this guy's going to battle battle and i got that very easy just kind of stay in the passing lane right there's a uh, yeah, you know, you want your stick to be in the passing lane. You don't want to be turned. You want to be square. Things like that. Very, very easy. Be holding this right side here. Goes in. Good play there. Now, that's a tough spot. Want to try to get rid of it as soon as I can when I get that puck in the slot. Because there's definitely going to be poke checks there that they're going to try to be getting. Let's see if I can get them. Help hold my stick out. And I was able to get it. Red's darting. I tried to blast it, but of course the net's got to get in the way there. So unfortunately, I couldn't send it to him. A lot of guys get into the habit of uh, they tend to hold blue line a little bit too much. I think in this game, you got to do it a little bit less. It depends on how fast the puck carrier is, how fast you are, what your gap control is like. So there's all kinds of things. Yeah, this guy's nice and quick uh, with his left and right. He knows exactly how to play it. I believe his D-King's probably... Wow, look at that move. Playing there. Nice, right? I just surprised him with a poke check, and then I kind of placed my body in front of him. Pulled inside, all right? So now let's talk about gap, like the actual gap control, not just positional-wise inside leverage. Uh, you don't want to be too far away from the guy, depending on how fast he is and, again, where the puck's at. When you mark somebody, you have to kind of stay on him quicker, or uh, you want to try to establish how far you want to play from him. So... If he's darting up the ice, you don't want to stay too close on him. Kind of want to just allow him to come to you. So backpedal, I'm going to stay kind of far, far, far away. Then poke. They got somebody driving up the middle. So I got to kind of establish there. Same thing there. I was able to just get my stick there. Just, you know, allow the game to do the work for you. Uh, the more, the longer you stay to the middle, the better. I mean, that's it's a simple, repetitive type of uh, feedback, I guess, or comment of just kind of playing defense is just stay middle. Stay in the passing lane, you'll do pretty pretty well, right? But there's a little bit more to it. So here, I'm just going to play middle, middle, right? Middle again. Throw my stick out. I actually never really... I never do that. All right, that was the wrong play there by me. And they score from it. So that's a bad uh, try to throw. I mean, if I was going to get that, I would have to have shot it. Uh, a sauce wouldn't work because it'd be too slow. You would have to wrist shot or slap shot that that's actually more on breakout that's just a breakout tip like you don't want to throw it up the middle like that it's basically a pizza being thrown up there all right back with our second game here let's see how we do this team is uh definitely a squad i would say um so it's good to face a team like that i believe i have a level 10 and level one guy with me so i think the level one's the uh, center i believe so we have uh definitely the best matchup when it comes to defense because you want your team to suffer so that you get more defensive looks to stand out so we already got uh green that's out unfortunately we got another ai basically playing with us but that's not the problem right We're, it's a matter of the other team not being ai so see what happens there so let's see what uh red wants to do i don't believe he's gonna quit because he's a level one so and we got oh that's not the lag spike that i wanted necessarily uh, it's the first time that's actually happened in a while. So down low, he's going to look for the cut play. Gives it right back. Uh, Dupuis was able to intercept that one. Or if you talk about clubs there, it's dubious. In front, and that didn't work. Uh, let's go red. Drop it off. Shot on rebound by Dupuis. Looking for it. And he gets bodied by Truck. So here, I'm going to allow him to come to me. Poke check. So gap control, anchoring yourself to the blue line. It's a matter of allowing them to kind of utilize their speed. Good move, good move, good move, good move. Oh, unfortunate. But I was able to get on the backswing. So that's what I like to see. Overextended there. Guy was able to pick it right back up in a slot. He didn't shoot it right away, which allowed me to then basically get him from behind. A shot on. 
Okay, the point. <laughs> All right, so puck control, puck control, puck control. Oh, this ain't going to be looking... Oh, this ain't going to be looking good. Yeah, cross to Pui. Didn't work there. Back post, though. He's tapping that in. These guys, not the best defensively, I will say, because that should not have been a walk-in for me. Looking front for Dupuis again. See how he kind of pulled back? Down back there, so... Ain't gonna mess up. That's to the slot. You want to play more tight point blank on guys when they're riding back post or right point blank on a goalie. That's when you want to have point blank yourself. And then it's just a matter of bouncing back and forth. If they're going to get it, you break off that guy. You play the other side. Of course, that is if you don't have somebody on the other guy. Because right now, exactly what Cap did, not Cap, Dupuis, well, exactly what he did is exactly how your forward should be who's playing that man. So that's AI playing better than human players, bro. You don't always get that type of uh, defensive coverage. And that's sad if you see that. What's to shoot that on? Maybe, maybe not. Looking for the shot on. He scored. That's how you'd get it there, right? Take that shot all day, buddy. So we're definitely playing a team. They got two diamonds, one platinum. I mean, this is, I mean, it's simple. You know, you don't have that ever. This is the perfect example of how you want to how you want to grind this game. You want to grind against a team while you have two guys that that suck as a defenseman. Same with goalie too, right? You want your team to suck while the other team's amazing, so you have to stand out and make saves. I understand that that's like not ideal. You know, never want that in a club match. But we're not going for the win here. I don't really care if Sabers right here sucks. Like uh, PlayStation, so you know you, you can't really expect too much. <laughs> Playing last man back to have an opportunity. So. Play there. I can play tight because I know exactly that's coming. This guy's got a lot of speed. Ink yourself. Hold him. Hold him inside. Away from the cut. Away from the cut. Yep. Yep. Nope. He ain't going to get that. Nope. And he gets it anyway. Poke check there. I was able to get it. Use my speed. Find red. Oh, I actually... Mm, I could have gotten that. AI goalie. You better get that. All right. He's not. I could have passed that up. So what happened there was I pulled away from the guy. The puck, the guy was past me. I played slot. I was marking his man because he could have passed that early. Once he realized that he was out of the play, he took it himself. And I knew he was going to take it. So I just played him and I was able to get the poke check there. So that's going back and forth, back and forth with defense. That's how you got to play. That's how you got to play in sixes as well. Sixes is not. This is exactly the same, the exact same thing. This is no different. Good play there. I poke check goes right to him. This is no different than if you had a center and a winger in sixes that you're basically going back and forth with. Don't even care about the other side. The opposite defense would have him, and he would also support the center. But this is if the center is not playing his spot. You basically have to mark two guys at once. It's the same thing here. Threes, you get the same exact thing. Two forwards that you don't have somebody helping you out with, so you're basically playing two guys. Try to mark him there. But don't don't think that like we, we need to play sixes in order to get sixes looks or to get to for this up to apply to that. This still applies. This uh, defense applies to both games. Ain't gonna get that one. Good play there, uh, goaltender. Dupuy, you better back, you know, back, pass that back. So one on three on one now. Mark the last man back. Nope. <laughs> You, you get to a rhythm of where you just kind of know. You play the furthest man up towards you. And then you just kind of play from there. The guys are going to be looking for one tees. They're going to be looking for cut plays. You just got to gotta get into a feel of everybody. Of how they play and everything. It's tough to get into that. Because like all this stuff is split second decisions. That take a long time to grind. Especially this year too. You don't necessarily get to that mm, good play. I'm gonna do a little puck control here. A little puck rag. Find Dupuis. Not even ragging, really. I'm going up. Chop it down low for him. All right, I'm gonna play furthest man up. Allow him to kind of get to me. I'm not gonna play up there. Now mark the other guy. Now mark him. So bouncing back and forth yet again. You gotta get into a field where you can do that. A shot on. I thought Red was gonna keep going. That's just chemistry right there. Marking him, marking him, marking him. He's going to cut. He's going to cut. Now he's going to look for the one T. He found him. Good hit, though. Same thing here. Kind of shadowing him from a far distance. Not too far away. But I'm like, I'm like kind of within 
the blue line and center line like in terms of length but a little bit closer at times you know like you, you don't want to play too far play back play back a couple, couple seconds no i'm gonna die here yeah so anytime you go up the middle gg uh, you're dead you know you kind of have to dish it try to find see look watch what red does gets blasted by truck now he could have made a move there he wasn't like a timed hit not nah, bad uh, get up there wait why am i so oh i'm not sprinting i feel like my uh joystick it doesn't like i don't feel it clicking when i'm moving myself back so i wonder <sighs> i really tried it though Oh, I tried to mix it with the AI. Let's go, Dupuis. He scored. <laughs> Dupuis. That's how you score there. Park yourself back post. Wasn't even really truly back post. I just spit everywhere, bro. Damn. You see how he's like, he's just kind of in the slot. Like he should be parking himself literally back post. Like exactly point blank. Pra <laughs> practically in the crease. For him to tap that a little bit outside of it obviously you don't want to get a goalie interference call po check find him problem here he's gonna want to get blasted like this truck this guy isn't is not utilizing he's not utilizing his truck like these other guys do so I'll, i'm not gonna pull blue line away from the cut keep him to the outside oh that's tough it's oh oh I don't, I don't, I don't, really, I don't really like that one. Moving up the middle, little LT movement. Find Dupuis. Let's go. Five hole rebound score. <laughs> Good play. The reason I'm getting so hyped right now is because we're literally facing a squad. I have an AI and I have a level one character right now. Level one player. This is a, this is a, this is a level one guy, I think. The, the, and if not, it's a level 10. It's still, it don't matter. And we're facing a squad right now. Like, there's no reason for that. This is, there's multiple reasons to get hype right now. Try to actually find those good uh, hold there. Poke check. Immediately dart to the slot. Hold my poke check out. That's something you don't normally see the normal person do. Once you uh, are chasing from behind, when the guy is basically, when the guy beats you, basically, uh, you're just kind of trying to stop him from behind or from an angle you hold your stick out that's when you can you don't know you don't see that a lot because you slow down so drastically but you're already carrying your momentum into the slot and you're only going to go so far before you slow down anyway and that's where you want to park yourself is in the middle of the slot that's what i like to <clears throat> keep trying to hit ai ooh, 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 ooh. Good back. Oh, wow. I didn't realize Red and AI have chemistry. <laughs> I don't even really know how to explain it right now. It's a matter of just feel at this point. Yeah, that's tough. That, that is tough right there. Like, they keep getting it back. I'm basically trying to play two on one. It's a matter of, like, baiting. It's a matter of, like, faking it, faking it, hold it, trying to surprise them. And it's like you're just kind of going, riding this boat back and forth. And it's like, it's only a matter before they get it back. And the fact that I couldn't pick it up earlier, it's like, you know, that's just un unfortunate. You, you expect the goalie to make a save a little bit. He avoided truculence. Who says truculence is broken? Not when no, those animations go off, bro. I, I tell you, I still got the poke check off. How? I'm riding the other guy, basically. Weird. Go down low. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play back here. I realize, so yeah, this isn't. But this is a perfect ideal look, though. Nope, he ain't getting it. Swinging it. Let's go, red. Do something with it. Nice. That's what we love to see. Just completely lose that. Oh, I literally thought he was going to swing that. Imagine. Gonna allow him to do their thing. Mark him. <laughs> this is... A <laughs> this is actually... I can tell. I, I got to be frustrating him a little bit. I don't think I've ever made this many plays in one game before. 
Now that's where you anchor yourself to the blue line. He got to the middle of me. Takes a shot. Scored. Good play. I mean, I can't. There's nothing I can do to stop that. If I'm marking my the, the puck carrier. Yeah, he got to the inside. But if he were to try to, like, cut to the middle, I would have played that. Now, I could have played it better in terms of not allowing him to basically get around me. So if you look, if you do look at that, he did a little spin here. So I, I tried holding blue line. This is one of those cases where, you know, I'm in a good spot here. This is, ten, you know, you basically where you want to be inside leverage. I'm anchoring myself to the blue line. He's going to try to move to the outside. So I try to hold that. But since I poke checked and couldn't necessarily immediately get it, now he's here where he's slightly behind or he's slightly in front. Well, not really. He's like, you know, side by side. He does this little LT movement. That's all he needs to get around me. Now, in terms of me trying to force this poke check, wasn't necessarily needed. And because I poke checked, I slowed down. This guy now is able to complete the full curl. And now he's there. But I, I, if he were to still drive to the net here, I would still be able to angle myself to poke check that. The thing is, I need a teammate here to stop. I mean, I can't. You can't always just be playing middle. Once you, you know, I, because I know it's good work to get, you know, two on one looks, right? But you do typically want to try to your best to stay as close to your man as possible. Because the, the, the amount of two on ones that I had in this game, you wouldn't see that in any competitive game. You wouldn't see that many looks. Because if you do, you have a shitty ass team with you. I mean, that's just how it is. And he's he's gonna get he's gonna bury this. I mean, this is no 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 different than if you threw green jerseys on these guys, call themselves trio of legends, and have this play be seen a me a, a thousand times on our on our damn TikTok clips. YouTube recommends you watch this video next, so go ahead and click it.